right now we're going on a quick tour of the Tower of London. London was built uh, around 1000 AD. It was a prison, it was a zoo, it was a palace. So it'll be very interesting. And we're gonna listen to some beef eaters tell us different things about the tower. And the crown jewels are in there too, so it'll be fun. <laughs> Seven ravens that live here at the tower. They keep them at the tower and they say that if the ravens leave then the uh, empire is going to fall. So then they feed the ravens every day. They give them meat or else they give them little pieces of bread soaked in blood to make them stick around. <laughs> One of the rooms explains an eerie legend that happened at the tower. The Yaoman Warders, also known as Beef Eaters, live at and protect the Tower of London. Our last stop was the White Tower. It is the original tower built by William the Conqueror in the 11th century. It's currently a museum that displays a variety of artillery, armor, and artifacts. the Tower of London, we took a river cruise on the Thames. It took us to the Parliament Building with Big Ben and the Westminster Abbey. Check out that London Bridge. Parliament Square is a fast-paced, bustling area that occasionally has protesters on the weekends. Westminster Abbey stopped being a church in 1560. Now it's used for royal coordinations, weddings, and funerals. Sadly, they do not allow photography inside the building. It was a beef eater kind of day as our last stop of the evening was the beef eater gin distillery. Our tour begins with a thorough history of their gin.
spirit tour is quite complete without a quick tasting. delightfully refreshing gin and tonic. So we just finished our tour at the Beef Eater Distillery and it was quite amazing. At the end of the tour, after she guided us through all of the aromatics that they used to make the gin, she opened it up to some questions and I asked uh, if indeed all of the gin in the world that said Beef Eater was produced there and uh, she said yes. It was quite amazing to see four or five different uh, pots being used average of about 19 to 20,000 uh, liters a day they're being produced. Contrary to what a lot of people think, there's more than just one beef eater gin. She actually showed us about eight, nine, ten different bottles. My favorite one, which we didn't get to sample, but I'm looking forward to it, is one in a gold bottle. It's been aged for about four to six weeks and it has a whiskey type of a feel to it with a gin taste. Burrow something. It was burrow. And it yeah. was based off of the uh, two barrels. One of them was in the wine, the red wine barrel and the other one was in a white wine barrel that they aged it for the four to six weeks. So next purchase off BevMo. I think that's what we're getting. <laughs> 